What's happening, fam? LA All Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below, as usual. Uh, this video is entitled uh, Man Deserts Increase Poverty. A man desert is a neighborhood basically absent of a lot of men. So, a lot of times, you know, people talk about single mother households, fatherlessness. And at the same time, how those societies create, um, uh, have a negative impact on future generations. And we don't think about, you know, the poverty that it creates in the future. And that's the thing about it. You know, a lot of the issues that people are having are, are really a result of man does it. So when you got boys who go to school, they don't see male teachers. They don't have male classrooms. They don't have predominantly male situations. And as they grow older, you hear the the girls who became women in their um, in their age group or in their ethnicity complain about men not being builders, not realizing they were raised in these man deserts, or not acknowledging they were raised in these man deserts that taught them those skills and and also at the same time that taught them those skills basically uh, handicapped them so they could be behind the, the, the girls in that neighborhood who grew up to quote on be quote unquote be successful and educated but just uh, a generation of women with uh Massive amounts of debt and mental issues. The boys have mental issues also because they don't see themselves as being able to be successful because in these deserts, they don't see successful men. Um, you know, now there's going to be some people who point the finger at one gender more than the other, but there's a lot of blame to go around. Now, the problem with that is some people aren't willing to take their part of the blame. So, really, um, it's irrelevant to, to, for, to a degree because you can't fix man deserts if you're not willing to face all the, the root causes of them being created. So, this is why they continue. Now, what I mean by that is, you know, when you when I was younger, we played outside. There were more men in the neighborhood. We played outside. They made you get outside and go play. And at the and simultaneously, because there were more men in the neighborhood, we could go outside and play because there were less predators in the neighborhood. There were less people to be afraid, you know, afraid that your, ch your children are going to get snatched up by some predator because... There was an ample amount of men in the neighborhood, so if you were a predator and you tried it, something was going to happen to you. But that's a consequence of uh, that that builds into all these other things because now that these kids can't go outside and play, they can't, they're not as healthy, which causes you to have to take them to the doctors a lot of times and that financially drains people. Um, they, they're not a social. They're not social creatures. They can't talk, which is a part of a younger generation now that that can literally be in the same building with somebody and and hit them up in their DM instead of walking over and talking to them. You know, so that's a problem. The other thing, like I said about skills, you know. We were able to watch and learn. We were able to be pseudo apprentices and interns for guys, you know. We, that's how we learned how to fix cars. That's how we learned how to paint homes and, and lay bricks and, and, and roof and, and um, learn electric work and learn how to, you know, learn sockets and put in ceiling fans and change fixtures and, you know, um, put, up, put up and take down drywall. If, um, that's how we learn, you know, I remember 
this is what I mean. My son um, hurt his finger playing football. And I was like, pop it back in and tape it up. He's like, what are you talking about? And the football coach was like shook. And I'm like, how does a football coach not know if a finger pops out to pop the ligament straight and then tape it up and keep it straight as a, as a brace? Like, that's because, you know, there's, there's a, man does this create poverty. Not just poverty financially, but po- poverty as far as information and, and conduct also. And it's like, that's crazy. But it is what it is, right? Then, you know, you also have, um, you know, man does increase poverty because with the overly abundance of, of female-run uh, households, overspending has become a rampant um, problem in these communities as these kids get older. They're trying to spend, they're spending their way into self-esteem. Instead of having confidence by accomplishments. So part of the reason why people are poor is because they're, they're, they're lacking. And they think buying things, they're, they're emotional spenders. And they're never happy because they never fulfilled because they never had true rites of passage to make them um able to to know what they're actually made of under pressure you know so you wind up poor from overspending and feeling in entitlement and feeling like you deserve this and you deserve that while never really earning this or earning that so increased poverty um also the rugged individualism uh, doesn't work. Like most people who are successful work in groups. And most men who can be successful can work in groups because you're going to need a group of people to pull off a, a big task. And what's happening is you're having all these independent agents of, of people raised to be rogue. And it costs you more to be an independent entity than it is to be a part of a collective group moving, pushing something forward. So a lot of times, man does this increase poverty because you can't work with other men. And while, you, and while you're trying to make it to the top, you, you think you're going to sabotage everybody you meet and somehow wind up on the top when you're not. You're just sabotaging multiple people and creating a reputation as a snake. That's pretty much it. And you're going to get yourself exiled from whatever, from all the groups that you could have possibly worked with. So ultimately you increase your poverty because there is no networks like that. There is no way to get ahead like that. Just, you know, that, that's just a problem with it. Um, you know, it ain't, the man does this increase poverty because... Because you're not an apprentice to anybody, because you're not an intern, you, you have a lack of information. So you, you wind up learning by trial and error when you should be old enough to know. So those mistakes cost you more as an adult than they do as a child. And thus, you're not as successful at the quote-unquote age benchmarks that you think you should be. You know, that's why you see people who are, you know, mid-20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, still just starting or still figuring it out or, or getting it together. And you're like, why? Because, you know, the man that's created, created a poverty that they have to teach themselves how to be a man and how men operate on the fly when they're actual, the actual age of men. So it's not a good look, you know, just, just saying, you know. So some of those guys can be taken advantage of. Um, another thing, uh, the man deserts increase poverty because there, there are men who, from those man deserts who try to come back and help those man deserts and they get drained financially. 
and those communities don't see a problem with it, so then those guys back off. It is what it is. Um, another thing that goes along with that is, you know, man doesn't increase poverty because they think this, they create the ideology that dysfunctional relationships are normal. Because at this particular point, the men who stay, who actually stay in these man deserts are usually like the high school dropouts who can't, who haven't left a four square mile radius. So you're not dealing with the best of the best, you're dealing with the worst of the worst. So these are the people that, that, that these women are picking from when it's all said and done and that they're interacting with and that their sons and daughters see th these, these are how normal relationships work with are usually dysfunctional, um, the, you know, and very toxic. So now, even if they leave, they grow out of that man desert that they were, that they were um, raised in, they take those dysfunctional and toxic behaviors out into the world and, fi and find themselves uh, shunned by society, and, which is a problem. You know, and sometimes it increases, and you have to start from square one, maybe get some counseling, some therapy, to figure out that, you know, everything that you thought you were doing right, you were doing wrong. So you have to reverse your whole uh, way of thinking and way of acting in, with, the, with the world. So it's just interesting, because these man does increase poverty all the, like, um, nationwide. They're, they're, they're from sea to shine and sea. They're from east to west, north, south, you know. Um, and also, before I go, the man does this increase poverty because these kids don't have the skill set, but they don't have proper understanding of how to, to be professional. So they're not, a lot of people aren't uh, hireable or able to, to have the patience enough to learn a business model to create their own business. So they're not they're not able to create an economy for themselves because they're not disciplined and structured enough to to do it on the good days and the bad days. You know, so you know, that's just my thoughts for the day. I gotta get to the gym. We out.